Hey everybody, it's Anne Marie with Starting in the Middle. I am doing an unboxing today from Gro uh, Grove Collaborative. Uh, they're so sweet. They say, love Grove. And they tell me to stay healthy. They always do personalized messages, which is really fun. Um, I am not getting paid for this. Um, I'm not being sponsored by this. This is just a video I wanted to do uh, because it's a lot of fun. And I wanted to kind of let you know the way that I do um, my orders with Grove. Uh, from what I've been seeing of the Grove order unboxings on YouTube, there's a lot of really great ones, don't get me wrong. But they usually spend more than uh, what a lot of families probably would budget in. And so my, bud my budget is modest and so I try to consider that before making orders. Um, if you purchase more than like, I think it's $59, they'll give you like free gifts and I usually never get those free gifts. Um, every now and again, if I've, you know, got a need, then, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and get a little bit more, but I usually just have my consistent things that I order every time. Um, you'll notice that the tape is already open. That's because I already did this video. Um, and I got through the whole thing and was getting ready to sign off when I realized that I hadn't even actually pressed the video. I'm pretty tired today from a late night and yeah, I had taken a picture of the clothes box and that is all. So yeah, not my greatest moment, but, um, so the, that's why the box is open if you were curious. Um, they, like I said, they always write these little messages it might say like this one says stay healthy and sometimes it'll say you know thank you and then they've got the little love grove down at the bottom which is really just cute um i usually spend about 30 dollars a month uh sometimes a little less sometimes a little bit more but that's usually the average is about 30 dollars. and what i get each time um varies but usually it's you know the the specific items that I've tested out and I'm like I like these items and so you'll get to see some of those today and I'll tell you why why they are some of my favorites so without further ado let's go ahead and open the box okay first of all when you have a Grove box the very first thing you'll see is they use this and it almost looks like maybe it's recycled paper or something. I'm not sure. They're, you know, they're very eco-conscious. So um, they usually have this paper and they have a lot of it. And, you know, you can just throw it away or recycle it, whatever. Or one of the things that I like to do, if you have kids, um, this is really great. All you do, you know, kids are not very picky. You know, if there's some wrinkles on their uh, paper it's not a big deal but I can take this and they have long long strips of this paper in this box like this is actually a short one and they have long strips of this paper and so what you can do is just give the kids the paper grab a box of crayons or markers something like that and just let them go ahead and use this now if your kids are not big into um, sharing their paper with others or if you just want to like have it separated the great thing about this paper is it is perforated so you can just go ahead and you know and it's perforated all the way that's like a short piece that they had cut off but um but yeah the papers are go ahead and do this one so you can see how big they actually are I mean I'm not going to measure them for you but just to give you a better idea um and I don't know, maybe other people have told you this, maybe you already knew, or maybe, whoops, I did not do that well. Oh, well. But anyway, this is about the the length of it. Um, so, kind of a little bit bigger than a regular piece of paper. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any just random paper. Okay, I've got, okay, so here's like a college, or a, a notebook, a regular notebook. So, it's a about the size the width of paper and you know longer so like I don't know 11 by or not 11 what is what is the the dimensions on this uh I think it's eight and a half by 11 is the normal so this is probably I don't know 15 inches 14 inches anyway regardless of all that grab a 
a couple crayons, markers, whatever, and go ahead and you can use this. The other thing you can use it for is if you really want to get creative, you can actually make kind of a fun, rustic um, uh, gift wrap out of this. And so, you know, we're coming up on the holidays, maybe some birthdays, things like that. And you just want to give kind of like a, a fun, rustic thing. There's also some other crafts and I might do them on my channel. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, these, you can make a cute little pumpkin craft and there's some other like fall crafts that these, um, that this paper is just a great way to use. And I am all about reusing everything I can. Um, so I'm not always good about it. Sometimes life gets a little hectic and I don't get to, but um, my kids are real creative and I've got a couple in particular that they could turn a garbage dump into an art museum. I mean, they're just really cool about that. And so I try to teach that and I try to live that. So hopefully you enjoy doing that too. Um, but it can get out of hand. So you got to be wise about what you keep and what you don't. Uh, but it is recyclable. If you're like, yeah, no, I'm not even bothering with that. Go ahead and recycle it. Okay, so now in the box, yeah, this is like a really long, like, kind of goes on forever. So they get a lot, but now let's get in into the meat of it. <clears throat> okay, and most of the videos that I've seen of the unboxings, the Grove unboxings, I think everybody buys the Mrs. Myers sprays. They smell so good, and they just... They're, and they're affordable. They're only, I think, like $3.89, $4, something like that. And that's a really good price for um, a good cleaner. It does the job, and that's awesome, too. So, yes, of course, I'm going to show you my Mrs. Myers sprays. Um, they also have the um, air fresheners. So if you're not wanting to clean with it, you just want to freshen the air, that's an option. They have hand soaps, they have dish soaps, um, I think they have scrubbers. And now, in recent times, they've actually come out with some body products. So I think hand sanitizer, maybe a body wash, and I want to say even possibly a lotion. I have seen bar soap too. Um, yeah, they just have a lot of products. So they've they've gained a lot of popularity, which is really cool. Um, it's fall, so they have some special fall scents. Each season, they come out with new scents. Like, I think in winter, they'll have, like, peppermint, and I don't remember what the other one was, but I know they have peppermint, and in, like, the spring, one of my favorites is lilac. So they have lilac and peony and mint, but it's not the same as peppermint. It's just like a, I don't know, it's, it's a great smell. But anyway, and in the summertime, they have this one called Fresh Cut Grass, and I kind of love it and kind of just don't know if it really actually smells like fresh cut grass, but it has just a good uh, smell to it overall. So because it's fall, I went with the acorn spice, the apple cider, and the spiced pumpkin. Um, the spice pumpkin, I believe, is a Grove exclusive, but I could be wrong. I thought on the website it said it was a Grove exclusive. Usually they have a, a sticker on the actual product, but I don't see that. Um, but it is a Grove exclusive, I'm pretty sure, the spice pumpkin. Um, the apple cider scent and the acorn scent, acorn spice scent, you can get other places like I've gone to Target and I've seen those in particular. I think Whole Foods has them. Um, probably Walmart does at this point. I really don't know. I haven't looked for it at Walmart, but, um, they're all going to be around the same price, um, as you get on Grove, but there's some extras you get, like not having to leave your house and, um, little incentives. Um, so I like getting those. They also have a fourth flavor for the fall called Mum, but I decided not to get that because I got that in my last order. Um, so I usually get a few of the, the, um, scents. My kids love helping me clean. Sometimes they don't know that one spray goes a long way. And so it will smell like Yankee Candle Company in my house because they are spraying and spraying and spraying because they love the smells and, it can be a little bit too much sometimes, so I have to remind them, just give it a spray, wipe it down, that's good, you know, you don't have to, you know, pour the bottle out on the table that you're washing or something like that. 
Um, but it, they really do have a great smell. They make your house just, I don't know, smell like fall, make you feel like, oh, yeah, it's, it's time for, you know, all the apple picking. And I love the apple cider. It, it's totally an apple cider smell. The funny thing, spice pumpkin and acorn spice are not that much different. Um, but there's just enough of a difference where you still want to get both of them. So I'm going to put those to the side now. And let's see what other goodies we have in here. Okay. All right. These are the, it's Grove Collaborative, Collaborative's brand, and it's the Walnut and Cellulose uh, Scrubber Sponge. Uh, the thing that I really like about these scrubber sponges is they are biodegradable. They come from recycled fibers. Um, the actual sponge part, the white part, is made of cellulose, which is a plant-based, or is, uh, they are made of a plant-based cellulose, I should say. And then the brown top is actually ground up walnut shells. So again, like I was talking about before, you know, that idea that you're reusing stuff instead of just tossing it. Um, I grew up with the, the old adage, waste not, want not. And it's so true. I really enjoy taking things that other people would just throw away and making them somehow new again. So I, um, I can't do that with the plastic that it comes in. So <laughs> that unfortunately doesn't get to, um, get to go, but mm, there it's not recyclable either. So it looks like the plastic is just going to fill the landfill. Maybe someone will find a way to use it someday, but at this point that does get thrown away. Um, but the sponges themselves, as far as quality, they work really well. Um, they're not like, I don't know, antibacterial or something where, you know, if, if they're left sitting out with water in them, yeah, you're still going to get like that yuckiness and could get mold and mildew. So you've got to still rinse them out. Um, some people steam sponges in their microwave. I don't actually have a microwave, so I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm not sure. I've never tried boiling them, but I don't really need to because two last for the month, probably longer than the month, but I make sure that two last every month. Um, and then like one of the things that I do, uh, in order to reuse these until they're like totally unusable is after it's done washing the dishes and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not really interested in having them wash my dishes anymore. Cause you know, I eat off of those. Sometimes I'll actually take the old ones, um, ring them out, uh, you know, get them, get them to where they're, they're um, pretty clean again, because they're pretty easy, you know, to rinse out and clean. Um, but they might have like stains on them or something. And so that doesn't matter to me. And I'll just scrub like my tub because that that scrubber part is actually good even in like my bathroom or um, the, the floor. I love using old sponges to mop like tough spots on my floors. Um, and when I talk about my floors, I'm talking about like, you know, your linoleum, your vinyl, nothing like, I don't think I would use this kind of thing for hardwood or anything like that. And obviously not carpet. Cause I mean, come on, but, uh, yeah, so that's uh, a couple ways to use them. And the next thing is looks similar, but it's the walnut scouring pad. This is actually a three pack and it's made again. It's basically the tops. It's just a bigger version of the top of the, the, um, that right there, the, the scrubber, um, sponge. So you get a package of three and these are really, really good for those tough, um, spots on like the caked on food. Um, but really I like to use these for like, I don't know, things that I'm not going to use the sponge for because they don't retain the water um, like the sponges do. So if I've got a place, like if I'm cleaning um, my toaster oven, for instance, I do have a toaster oven and we use it a lot. And so um, we'll use this to maybe clean up some of the yucky spots. Uh, I would think that if you had a microwave, this would be a great thing to use um, for that because you're not going to have... Sometimes when you go to use a sponge, if you haven't, like even if you've been wringing it out, it can still just retain a little too much um, water. And this is a little, a little bit better for just really working on scrubbing tough spots. But this also works really great on pots and pans. And, um, and it doesn't scratch. I like the fact that it doesn't scratch. Um, apparently I got a message on it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> somebody, 
somebody left some kind of sticker on it at the at the plant but um it does say rinse carefully um and something else um <laughs> but but yeah this is this is good again the plastic wrap is not recyclable but the rest of it these walnut uh scrubbers are absolutely awesome okay so the next thing that i've got again in the walnut uh <laughs> in the walnut is the walnut scrubber replaceable handles i love these ribbons that they uh give on this package and then they do have like a scrubber brush that you can buy that's a head for the um it's a wooden handle <clears throat> excuse me i don't have it with me it's actually at my sink right now um but it's a wooden handle like a long wooden handle so you can use this for you know inside like cups and thermoses or vases like if you get flowers and you forget to uh get rid of the flowers quick enough then sometimes they'll get kind of yucky inside the bottom and you're like oh what's that what's that in there and yeah you left them too long and so you need something that actually will kind of scrub it out for you these are really great for that um again i would use old ones <laughs> um just because i'm weird like that i like clean sponges for clean cleaning dishes everything else that i'm not eating off of i don't really care <laughs> but um again so i love like i said these little ribbons that come with it um like I had mentioned, um, you know, I reuse. These slide into the, there's a spot on the wooden handle, um, which I'm probably gonna end up getting another one at some point, but um, they just slide right on and then you can use them. Um, so I'll put that to the side and it's just the same, it's just a smaller version of the um, cellulose sponge with the walnut top. Um, this paper, of course, I mean, you can, you can recycle paper, so that's always good. But the ribbon super cute um again it can be used for crafting um it can be used for you know even hair <laughs> you know just i love ribbons i i have to stay out of places like hobby lobby because yeah i see art in everything and that's dangerous it's a blessing and a curse and so then this time um this time grove uh, sent me a message and they said, Hey, you know, thanks for being a, a member. We want to go ahead and offer you a sample. So pick from one of these four samples. And I think there was like hand sanitizer, a trial size hand sanitizer. There was like shampoo and conditioner. I think there was a clay mask and some cute things, but I saw these. And so these are the patch, uh, charcoal strips. And um, it's an Australian owned and operated company, um, a certified B corporation. Okay, so these are too cute. Um, they have, let's see, the patch bamboo bandages are made with super soft bamboo fiber that's hypoallergenic, breathable and free from plastics, which means better for the planet. So I'm always down with that. Uh, patch it up so you can take on life's adventures. They're strong and durable, great for sensitive skin, and 100% compostable. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, oh, that's neat. What is that? So, I guess these are like band-aids then? <laughs> I really didn't know what I... I was just like, oh, I thought these were like those strips that you put on your nose, which my daughter uses. I don't use because... I don't really get an oily nose, so I don't really use it much, but uh, she does. So I thought I would get these for her. So I guess these are actually bandages. Um, the cool thing about these band-aids, you know what? I'm going to, well, I don't want to really open one up um, while I don't have anything to cover. <laughs> for for a minute, we, we don't have any injuries to work on. So how about this? Next time I have an injury, um, hopefully it won't be, you know, anytime soon but um i'll go ahead and i'll i'll look into these a little bit more i'm not really sure um yeah i just want to kind of look into this a little bit more but see yeah it's sterile um as it is right now so i and they're individually wrapped um and there's a perforation so yeah i don't want to open these um until i'm ready to use them and so i'll tell you how it goes um huh I do have sensitive skin, so that's that's exciting. 
Um, and a lot of the band-aids that I've had in recent times, because I always cut like my fingers or something like that, you know, like slicing food or something. I mean, or just like random day-to-day -day things. The garden, I'm always, you know, um, doing something that gets me hurt in the garden. So I'm sure that I'll have a reason for this, but that is really cool. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to get hurt and check this out. Um, but hopefully not anytime soon getting hurt. But uh, the charcoal, charcoal is a great um, uh, item that can be used for like uh, drawing out toxins. Um, in fact, a lot of people like if, if they accidentally eat some kind of poisonous thing or something that um, is bad for them, like sometimes if my daughter who has celiac disease um, we find out later, oh no, she got, um, she just ate that and it has weed in it or, you know, something like that. And that doesn't really happen because she's older now. So she, she knows better, but, um, sometimes we'll have had to take like a little activated charcoal in water and drink that. So it, you know, kind of doesn't bother her system as much. Um, another way we've used charcoal is we have made a paste with, it sounds gross, but it actually works. Oops. It works really well. And I make a paste with, um, charcoal, uh, the activated charcoal and the, and coconut oil and crushed raw garlic. And we put that on bug bites and yeah, it smells kind of weird, um, because you walk around smelling like garlic. Um, but like we've had some nasty, um, reactions to bug bites and I had one that I mean it swelled up so bad I think it might have been a spider bite and I put some of that um, on it and then put a band-aid over it and it was gone completely gone like I don't know the next day I guess uh, so that was really cool um, you know I'm not a doctor so I'm I, I don't pretend to be one but um, there's certain things that you can kind of you know those those little happy helpers, especially, you know, during times where it's a little harder to get to the doctor or, you know, it's not anything that's really bad. Um, and you just want to like, I don't know, do something that is not, um, not going to hurt you. I mean, putting a little activated charcoal lotion is not going to hurt you. Now, overuse will, you know, with everything you don't want to, um, you don't want to use anything in excess because yeah, everything used too much is bad. So this way, you know, I just use it a little bit here and there and it, and it works. Um, if it ever didn't work, of course we'd, you know, seek a doctor's advice, um, as needed. But, uh, I think that that's what the idea behind the charcoal strip band-aids, I think that they're kind of doing that, like drawing out anything yucky, um, and yeah, I'm assuming, but I don't know. I'm going to have to look up this brand a little bit more. Okay, so that is all we have today. Like I said, it was like a $30 um, purchase. And, you know, we got, we got a few things that are going to be really helpful um, for, for our family. Let's see there. Okay. Um, yeah. So we got a few things that are going to be helpful for the family. We got the extra paper. There's even more paper in the box. And then the box. So here's how I reuse the box. Um, boxes are great for uh, when you're trying to like get rid of things to like donation sites. You can take them there. Obviously, they're good for moving. People are always looking for moving boxes. Um, this box is kind of small, so we won't be probably doing, um, this with it, but sometimes if the box is big enough, I will take crayons and my three-year-old or sometimes even my six-year-old, <laughs> if it's big enough, I'll give them crayons and sit them down inside the box, you know, like with the top open and I'll have them sit inside the box and they just color the whole thing and they have so much fun. It keeps them distracted so I can get some other things done. And um, everyone just has a real good time. And then the box, of course, is going to be recyclable. So after they're done with their art, I'll take a picture like, oh, that's so great. Good job. And then we break it down. We take it to recycling or we'll go ahead and still put donation stuff in it and then take it to go be donated. Um, the other thing is 
Um, if you have a cat, sometimes cats like to go in boxes. Um, kids sometimes will like to take, uh, like a box this small might actually be good. My, my very artistic daughter that I was talking about, she has some dolls. I could see her like turning this into like a little dollhouse type thing or, you know, just different, different things like that. So before you throw things away, there's always something that you can think about doing with it. Um, <clears throat> but the only thing I want to say with that is it's really, really great to reuse things and be resourceful and not wasteful. But don't let that become something that stresses you out. Um, a lot of times uh, if you watch shows like Hoarders, um, there will be people that are so wonderfully minded that they don't want to waste anything. But unfortunately, in the process, they take on more than they can handle. And by doing that, they end up in such a mess and they don't know how to get out of it. And it becomes just such a burden on their lives. And it really, it starts affecting their health negatively. And it's so important that um, you maintain that balance between, you know, what you can handle with you know, being resourceful and, and reusing things and your mental health. So I highly recommend save what you want and can reuse like the paper for coloring. It's great. You take a picture and then you send it off to, uh, I don't know, circular land. <laughs> we, our teachers used to always say, I'm going to put that in the circular file. And that meant the trash can. <laughs> but of course, you know, you're not going to do that. You'll still recycle it or something. Um, and just teach the kids, hey, guess what? We've just recycled this. And so now it can go and become something else for someone else. And just teaching that kind of concept over and over again um, is just, you know, kind of the kind of stuff that they did even back, you know, before our generation, they didn't just go and trash everything like a lot of people do now. Not everything was disposable. You took care of things and it teaches you to be wise with what you've got and to be resourceful. So I hope this video uh, was a blessing to you and you enjoyed the, uh, the different items that I got on Grove. If you are interested in Grove Collaborative, I um, have a link below for, um, for friends and you do get, uh, for anybody that I recommend, this is something that Grove just does across the board. It's not because um, I am YouTubing or anything like that, but they do, if you refer a friend, like if you become a customer, you refer a friend, um, you get this like five piece gift set. Um, and so it'll have like a little cleaning bucket. It'll have like a couple of their products just to let you try out. And that is totally free. So the very first time I did Grove, I got a huge box and it was awesome. Um, I only had to buy a few things and yeah, it was great. Um, but since then I've just been maintaining with just the things that I need. And, um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it, go for it. It's, it's really cool. And, um, like I said, I've got a link below in the comments. Um, so I don't know if I, I don't know, I probably get some kind of free item or something, I guess. Um, I guess I, I, I don't know what the, the person that refers gets, but, but, um, you get something and that's really the most important thing. And I hope you enjoy. If you do, um, like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more content, uh, where you're going to see, you know, some different things that I do with my life. Um, reusing things, just being, being kind of a mom, a wife, a working mom and, um, so much more. So if you like what you saw, like I said, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make a comment below. I would love to hear from you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.